Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to the house of royalty. Hey my royalty family. Uh so today I have a message. Um this video will be a little different today. Um as I've been kind of putting this aside, but <clears throat> this is this is um a particular warning from God, I believe. Um I had this dream four times already. Um I had it once in 2020. I had it once in 2021 and then I have it twice. I had it twice in 2022. One recently. So <clears throat> the first time I had this dream, um I asked God, God, if it's if it's something that you want me to speak on, if it's something that if it's a warning, then allow me to have this dream again. And I, and then it came again like in a different form, but it was like the same same thing. So I've been procrastinating. I've been trying to like throw it aside. I've been not trying to like put it out because I don't, I don't want to give out the wrong message. So, but I just recently had the same particular dream again, like in a different form. I had it uh, on the 31st. So yeah, yesterday. So I'm like, okay, God, this is the fourth time I've had this dream. Um, it's been in like different scenarios, but it's like the same thing. So I'm like, okay, God, you really want me to put out this message? <clears throat> this is like a warning. I believe it's something that it's gonna come. I don't know when it's gonna, he didn't give me the specific date, time or how or when. I don't know when it's gonna, when it's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be next year or the year after or years, I don't know. But I know that it's something serious because he has given me the same dream four times in different scenarios so i know that it's serious and <clears throat> uh the third time i had it i'm like okay god if this is something that you really want me to speak on i'm gonna speak on it but i need like your direction and i need you to, like tell me what to say so he gave me the same dream yesterday again like it was um in the morning he gave me the same dream again so i'm like okay you really want me to speak on it so i'm gonna speak on it so yeah <clears throat> and like i said um before I even get into the dream, subscribe to this channel and like, comment, uh, and hopefully you can share and pass on this message because I believe that it's urgent and it's serious. And like I said, I don't know when it's going to happen. It might be the following year. But <clears throat> as you guys know, in the year 2020, when 2020 started, I believe like in March, we started... Um, there started being like a, a, a shortage on food supplies and stuff like that. So this dream is, it's about that. Um, I believe that we're going to have famine, which is like um, shortage of food and supplies. I believe that's what is going to happen. Um, like I said, I don't know when, where or how, but I know that if God gave me this dream, started from 2020, he gave me this dream and now it's 2022. So it's like two years later and I'm still having the same thing, the same dream in different scenarios. So I know that it's serious. So <clears throat> I hope that it gets to as many people as it can. And that's why I'm making a video about it. So before I even get into the dream and details of the dream, um, I want to speak on a little bit of, about other things as well. So if you're new to this channel or if this is your first time watching me, my name is Princess Gaete, but like I said, you can call me God's Grace. And I'm still here today under the grace of God. So, yeah. So, let me say a short prayer. So then that way, I, I say the right things and I put out the right message that I'm supposed to. So, Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for all you have done for us and continue to do for us, oh God. I'm thankful for those that are watching me, and I'm thankful that that you're working working through me. I pray that you work through your children and you let your will be done. Lord, as I'm about to speak, I know I've been like Jonah, trying to run away from speaking out this message. But God, I will listen to you, and I'm going to give it to the best of my abilities. And I pray that your Holy Spirit speak through me and guide me through this process, and let your will be done in all things. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> so like I said, before I even go into this dream and speak about this dream, I'm going to speak on, on a little bit of more things. <clears throat> so, so 
So for believers who are just returning back to, back to God or who've been in the, in the walk of God, um, I want to encourage you to continue the process. Speak out as many people as you can. And remember, speak in love, speak in peace, speak in patience. Because you were once like them, blind and not following the word of God. So have patience with people. Some people may not get, get your message right away. And I, I was once like that. Um, I always have the love of God. I always ask God to use me in some sort of way. I've always know God, but not, I knew of him, but I didn't, I wasn't really connected as I am now. So when people used to come to me, God want to use you, listen to God and all, like I wasn't, I didn't, to, I didn't fully understand what they meant, but yeah, um, speak to other Believers and unbelievers with love, patience, understanding. Um, don't condemn. Like, you can let people know what they're doing is wrong, but you, you can't, like, literally judge them because you were in the same shoes. Like, so, <clears throat> and I want to speak on unbelievers who who are still lukewarm, serving two masters. Um, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. God says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the, uh, the other one and love the other, or he will hold the other one to their heart and despise the other. So for believers, those that believe in God, and they're still serving two, they're still serving two masters, which is like, you want to serve God, but you're still doing things of the world. You're, you're still not sincere with your walk with God. Um, that's not good because in this era that we're in um you we see the things that are happening around us um there's always i live in philadelphia well not in philly itself clifton heights but it's still part of philly because i'm like less than 10 minutes from derby so there's constantly a lot of things that are happening um there was just this one video i think three days ago of a man um trying to throw his baby over the bridge and a lady had to save. There's so many things that's been happening, y'all. And it's not the time to like serve two masters. It's not the time to be unsure of your walk with God. Take God serious, for real. Um, I know it's a process and we all have to go through something to get there. But trust me, you don't want to keep living lukewarm, not sure, um, not want, wanting to give your all, um, seeking God with your lips, but your heart is far from him. We're not, it's not the time to joke about these things. It's, there's a lot happening. Um, there's a lot of people that are being used as agents of, of the devil. And another thing is always test the spirit. Cause God said, uh, things like that are about to happen. There's going to be a lot of people on YouTube prophesying, giving fake prophecy to, you know, different energies. You know, people believe in the universe now and not God that created the universe. So, yeah. So, test the spirit. Um, don't always be quick to believe what people say. Test the spirit. Pray to God. That's why it's so important to have a personal relationship with God. Because when you have a personal relationship with God, trust me, anything that is not of him, he's going to let you know. And you're going to feel it in the spirit. So, pray for the spirit of discernment. Good spirit of discernment. Um, ask God for more wisdom on things and he will show you, trust me. So yeah, yeah. So I want to speak on like people that, um, say they worship God, put on their best outfits on Sunday and go to church and just sit there, but their heart are far from him. Meaning that they're still doing wicked things behind closed door. They're still doing things that are not of God when you're not looking. So, and they're leading others along with them to eternal death and it's not like God is not only going to count your sin against you, but he's going to count the sins of other people against you because you're leading other people away from him when you're supposed to lead people towards him. So, yeah. And then I want to speak on those who that, who, who that are just blind. Like, they just don't know. Like, they're just um, unconsciously just blind. They just don't know. Um, I, want, I want you guys, I want to encourage you to pray to God. Ask him to reveal things to you. Ask him to reveal who he is, and he will. Uh, pray pray that God removes the speck from your eyes, and try to seek God wholeheartedly. Like, seek him with your whole heart. Because this is that's what God looks at, really. Okay. So, yeah. 
And then in John chapter 8, verse 32, um, and the word of God said, if you abide in my word and you are a true dis disciple of mine, and you will know that the truth will set you free. It will set you free. So if you're still blinded or if you're if the enemy is using you um, unconsciously and you're just not aware of it, um, trust in God, believe in God, and the truth will set you free. He will set you free. And then I also want to speak on the not believers, the ones that that believe in every other thing but God. They're, they're trying to take God out of the picture completely. Um, that's the devil agenda, to take God out of the picture, to bring us farther away from God. And I want to speak I want to speak a little bit on that. The reason, like, I always look here, it's like I write notes on my phone, so that's why I, I read things on here. Antichrist or worshiping crystals or, like, different things. Uh, repent. Once, like, when you're alive, you still have the chance. So, um... I'm trying to say in the best way that it doesn't seem like I'm judging anybody. But repent for your, from your evil ways. When God gives you warning, listen to them. Because he warns it because he loves you. Um, God doesn't have a favorite child. Um, just because you see someone else prospering in life, there's different ways. Prosperity, that's a different topic, bro. <laughs> that's a different topic. But that's like another video in itself. But yeah. Um, when God gives you warning to leave something or that what you're doing is of, is not of him, leave it, leave it. Listen to God's warning. He warns you because he loves you. He warns you because he wants to save you. Yeah. He loves all of us. We are his creation. So he loves us all. But the reason the difference is when you're refusing him, then he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you. Yeah. He made you and he created you, but he created you for a purpose for his purpose so if you're going against his purpose then you're not a child of god then he doesn't know you children of god remain in faith be consistent in prayers and worship fasting and reading god's word the bible um the the enemy attacks and schemes are they're more active today than ever before um yeah continue to read your bible ask god for strength when you're weak um Always ask God for more wisdom and good discernment. Um, when you're experiencing severe warfare, pray. Fast and pray all day long. So, yeah. Um, nothing can take you from the, from the love. Nothing can take you away from God's love. If you're, if you're seeking his love every day, he, nothing can take you away. He's always going to show up for you and be there for you. Um, um, God's chosen one, um, he's preparing us for what is ahead. There's a lot of danger things that is about to unfold and happen. Uh, like I said, it could be next year. It could be the year following, but there's going to be a lot. And this particular dream is about that. It's about shortage of food that is going to happen, of supplies and stuff. I know we kind of experienced it in 2020, but what is about to what is about to unfold is going to be much more severe than what we experienced a little bit of 2020. So yeah, um and yeah, children of God, when you stumble, like when you make a mistake today, ask God for forgiveness and then continue in faith. Continue in faith. Um don't ever stop just cuz you stumble or made a little mistake. God forgives always. So all these things that are about to happen, um, just remember they're they're meant to happen. It's all in, it's all a part of God's plan. Just keep your focus on God. Um, don't worry about what's happening around you, what's going on around you. Don't worry about the chaos. Don't worry about the storms. Don't worry about nothing. As long as you're focused on God and God alone, He's gonna take you out of everything. Cause you're you're His child. When you're marked by God, <laughs> trust me, the devil cannot harm you or do anything. He cannot, he could try, but he will not. So yeah, so with that being said, I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I'm gonna go into my dream now. So like I said, I had this dream about four times, one in 2020, one in 2021, and then two times this year. Um, so um, the one that I had this year, I wrote it down, so then I remember it. But the ones that I had in 2020 and last year, I didn't write those down because then I, 
I wasn't thinking about writing down dreams, but writing down what you dream is very important because the enemy try to like erase our memories and then sometimes we don't remember them. So it's best to like write it down in like a safe place where you can always go back to read it and then like pray against it and all that. So um, the, the third time I had this dream was uh, June 27th of this year and I wrote it down. So this dream, it, uh, Actually, before I even speak on this dream, I'm gonna go on the on the dream that I had in 2020. The one I had in 2020, um, it was when you know COVID had started and they started like they started pulling out the vaccines and all that stuff. And this dream, it was like, um, okay, I was with um, family members. I'm not gonna say who or what, but I remember it was okay. <clears throat> we were like. Um, I was with some few of my family members. Like I said, I'm not going to list names of who I was with. But I was with family members. And we were like... Go back. We were like in like a cage, right? Um, no, not a cage. A cave. We were in like a cave. And then they were like... Um, I don't know if these were like werewolves. Or if they were human. But um, they were like eating everybody. Just like eating people. Biting people and eating people. And then I remember that a um, few of my family members got touched, but I never got touched. That I was just in the cave and I, I just never got touched. And then I'm going to move on because I don't really remember much. So I'm just going to speak on the ones that I have written down. So the one on the 27th, okay. It was the same thing again. It was like werewolves. So we were at like a, a, a like an abandoned building. And then there there came werewolves and like they were eating and biting humans and then the humans that would tur that turn into the werewolves they still had their human form and but they were also eating and biting other humans and in this dream i was like <clears throat> i i i was bitten but i never changed into anything like i never got turned into anything i didn't try to bite other people and i started hiding um and then they would notice me, but they, they can't come near me. Like, they they all backed away. So, yeah, and humans started eating humans. And I believe in that dream, what it means, um, it could mean multiple multiple things. There's three things in the top of my head what that dream could mean. One of them could be um, that uh, <clears throat> the COVID vaccines that people took will be, will, be, um, will be the cause of these things. And I believe since I took the first dose, that's why I was bitten. But since I didn't take all three of the doses, um, I was humane to them. Like they, they bit me, but I didn't turn into them or they couldn't harm me in any other way. And I was protected. That's why. So I believe that's it. Um, but like I said, there's three meaning, meanings to these dreams. It can be a whole lot of stuff. So the one I had yesterday was, okay, it was my family and I. Um, not all of them, but majority of my family from my father's side, we were like in this big house, right? And then there was a guy that came in and his girlfriend was in that house and he was looking for his girlfriend. Um, and he has this demonic, demonic energy in his eyes. And you can just tell that he was possessed by something. He came in, he came in into the building and then like he was looking for her and she knew she knew that she she was gonna die she like she just felt that he was there to like kill her or something and then um we were trying to stop it but um she said not to stop it that she knew that it was coming and and all that stuff so then he, we allowed him he went upstairs bit her and we knew that he bit her he bit her ate her up and then came back down and then he was trying to do the same to us but then he couldn't touch us and then the other gym I had, it was like literally, it was like a zombie zone. Like people were outside just eating each other, biting each other, just going crazy. It, crazy. Like they were just going in. And um, like I said, these dreams that I had, um, they mean, they can mean multiple of things. Um, like I said, there's three reasons. I list the other reason already. The second reason may be... Um, that because of the shortage of shortage of food that's about to happen, um, um, humans could be eating humans. What what do they call it? C cannibal, cannibal, 
something like that but i'm gonna put put it in the description in my video here somewhere but yeah um it's gonna be like that where yeah. we're gonna be so short on food and things like that that things are things like that are bound to happen just a warning from our father just um preparing us for what is ahead like a warning um i don't know if it's global or just for america but i know it's something serious because if you have the same dream more than once it's it's a message it's a warning and it's like it wasn't just me or my family it was just like the whole world was going crazy like people were just eating each other outside was just crazy it was crazy there were people that was turning to werewolves uh, stay close to god um when things like that are happening or when the world is in chaos the main message is stay close to god be close to god don't worry about the chaos don't worry about what's happening around you as long as you're close to god and as long as you have that personal relationship with god you're already marked by god so you're going to be saved through the, any storms any disaster you're saved the enemy cannot harm you because the thing of an enemy is he comes and attacks but once he see like a special mark of God on someone, he cannot touch you. He cannot touch you. When he goes near you, there's some, there's a blockage. He cannot touch you. So a lot is about to happen. A lot, a lot, a lot. And it's dangerous. It's already happening. A lot is already happening. Imagine, imagine the years ahead of us. Imagine if, if um, family are going against each other, if mothers are killing babies, a lot of these they're already happening and people are saying the words by the end but not not exactly because when you read in the book of revelations um these things are about to happen they're the they're um it's the beginning of birth pains god said all these things must happen all these things must come to pass before the world comes to the end all these things have to happen and if you read um matthew 24 uh, verse 6 to 8, it reads, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famine and earthquakes in various places. And all these things are the beginning of birth pains. They're just the beginning. The world is not by the end yet. It's just the beginning. All these things must happen. It must. Have a very personal relationship with God. Don't just see God with your lips and on the outer surface. It, you, you're you clean on the outer surface, but in the inner surface, you're dark. It's like the Liberians saying, um, white tea, black heart. Like, yeah, see God and always test the spirit. Nowadays, there's many fake prophets. There's many fake pra pastor. Um, there's many fake ministry. Just fake. But ask God for wisdom and the spirit of discernment. And you will know between the real and the fake. You will know. And yeah, pray, be kind, be loving. Um, it's just so crazy that we're all, we all want to be loved, but yet we don't love each other. Like, I, I just don't get it. We all, we want love. Everyone wants to be loved, whether it's through relationships, friendship, any sort of relationship. We all want to be loved, but are you giving that same love out, outside or are you just only picking and choosing who to love? God, God said love everyone, including those including those that seek after you, including those that hate you, love them with the love of God because he loves us all and we're created by him. We're all created. Every good thing in this world is created by God. And, every, and, and even things like, let's say the internet and things that were created by humans, how did they get that idea to create things? It came from God. Although it's being, although it's being used in like, in like bad ways and things that are not of God, but it, the idea still came from God. Yeah, so thank you for watching and subscribe and have a great day. God bless you. And yeah, be good. Bye. Yes. Oh, yes.